right? You know, but that spot's just always going to be there. I'm just, there's never, I'm never going to get rid of that. you got to find some way to handle that spot. I just don't know if there is a way. I mean, bald people appear on camera. Yeah. But aren't they powdered down? Maybe. Yeah. We need powder. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to powder down. Because then I get home and I got to That's a pain in the ass. I understand. Get a, get, a, get a stocking cap. How about I just get a bald cap that's pre-powdered? You can do that and it'll look ridiculous. If you want to do that, I won't stop you, but it's going to look ridiculous. You think a fake bald head on my bald head will look ridiculous? Yes. I mean, it might blend. They, really might, think, nice. they might just think you're Jewish. Like, man, that guy chose the wrong color Which you should yarmulke. probably do, because then making fun of you will be a hate crime. Helldivers is a twin stick shooter, basically. Uh, you, you are in a group of up to one to up to four uh, Helldivers mm -hmm. who are soldiers in, in this democracy, this future democracy of super earth. For democracy. For freedom. Spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become more than you are. Become a hero. Become a legend. Very Starship Troopers. Extremely Starship Troopers. To Unapologetically the, Starship Troopers. To the point where they should probably be sued. <laughs> it is every man, woman, and child's duty to protect our home, our culture. Uh, we, we both played the game on Steam. Mm -hmm. uh, the game has been out for actually a while on the PlayStation, uh, both on the PS4 and the PS Vita, uh, which really shows in its coding because every once in a while I'd have to play on my laptop and the game ran smooth as butter on my laptop, which is not a gaming laptop. <laughs> this was something that was ma you know, made for a portable handheld system, which is nothing but a positive in my book. Yeah. Your, your average operation in Helldivers is going to be dropped down to a planet, you have certain objectives to complete, whether it be carry a suitcase from point A to point B or launch defend the a territory. rocket to defend a territory. And then you complete those objectives and have to leave without dying too many times. <laughs> so every once in a while you can press left bumper and then you have to do like an up, up, down, down thing, whatever it says on the screen. Okay. And you get this, and I don't know what this is. Okay. And then you throw this beacon and then I think something comes. The, the stratagems, <laughs> which are little, little like, it's like basically calling in from a radio, we need my supplies, Sarge! Mm -hmm. And uh, every mission you get four stratagem slots. You get to pick what you bring with you. You, yeah. can, you can choose to bring like an extra main weapon. Like I want to bring a big giant machine gun or that giant laser and that'll take up a slot. Uh, I want to bring some ammo, extra ammo. I might need to call in for ammo and that'll take up a slot. Yep. Or, you know, maybe I want to bring airstrikes and that's a slot. And then you get that last one. Oh, do I want turrets? Do I bring turrets or do I bring the mines? Because the anti-tank mines are useful if the tank comes by, but the turrets can protect us when we're doing... So you got to, you know, <laughs> strategize with what you bring with you and what you think you're going to face. <laughs> call in stratagems. <laughs> Keep your shit together. <laughs> for democracy! For democracy! For democracy! <laughs> At, at, at face value, when, when I saw the video for this, it looked like it was just a twin stick shooter. Yeah. I expected something extremely dumb, but kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And what you get is kind of a lot deeper than that. Uh, I, I thought it was going to be a shoot 'em up. Mm -hmm. It's more of a, a, a strategy based, it's a, it's a strat em up. <laughs> a stratish mup. That's a real word. Because it's not just shoot at things and dodge bullet, there's more to it than that. Like, you're constantly managing your ammo. Mm -hmm. I kind of love what this game does with ammo. You, you don't have unlimited ammo. It's not like you got the super machine gun and you just move around and, <laughs> and you do that for 20 <laughs> minutes till you're done. You, you, you're, you always have to worry about how much ammo you have left. In this game, if you, if you change out a magazine that's only half empty, you lose half that magazine. It's gone. Forever. Forever. There's no picking it up again later. And it turns into this wonderful bullet management mini game. The economy of bullets. <laughs> Where you might want a full clip because at any point you could be surrounded by enemies. 
but you don't really want to reload your clip because maybe you only have half a, half a clip left and then those bullets are gone forever and then you might run out of bullets. <laughs> Or, or maybe when you're changing your, your ammo out, that just happens to be when a party of scouts walks by and then they send the alarm while you're, you're fucking around. Oh, shit. <laughs> so you got to be smart about how you utilize your ammo, about managing that resource. Yeah. So it's not just dumb and don't think about it. It's... Oh, yeah. I like that your own things can murder you. Yeah. I think that's really important. This game, love it or hate it, handles co-op perfectly. Uh, and the, the main reason it handles co-op perfectly is in the very presentation of the game, is every single player is looking at the same screen. Mm -hmm. And including when you choose your loadouts, you know, you're, you're picking all your stratagems, you're picking your guns, you're picking all of your equipment, you can see all of your teammates' equipment on the same screen. I mean, yeah, you're talking about sharing the loadout screen, but you share the game screen when you're playing the game. I've heard people bitch that you can't just run around and do your own thing, but that's, that's the point. You have to work together. Like, if, if you got two people who want to go north and two people that want to go south, no one's going anywhere. <laughs> you literally cannot move without your team. Talk about, like, reinforcing teamwork. How about we shackle you to each other, then you have to work together. You have, to, you have to know where your teammates are at any given time, too, because friendly fire is a thing. <laughs> and you can kill your own teammates very quick. Not, like, not just can, you do. You kill your teammates a lot. Like, you can, you can position a turret in front of yourself to protect yourself, but your teammates are all in front of the turret, and then they're going to get fucking mowed down. <laughs> so you have to work together to not only solve the objectives of the game, but to not kill each other. <laughs> because if all four of you can survive the entire mission, you individually get more experience points. Yeah. So this, the game reinforces that teamwork. Some of the equipment you can bring to, that, that also plays into the co-op, like um, there's a, a rocket launcher you can bring with. Mm -hmm. And the rocket launcher, it's not only the rocket launcher, but there's also a backpack full of ammo. Mm -hmm. And you can load, you can, you, can, you can carry the rocket launcher and the backpack and load the, the launcher yourself, but it takes like 15 seconds to load it yourself. Sure. Unless you have a teammate carry the backpack and they can load you, it takes like half a second. Mm -hmm. So if you're coordinated with your teammates, mm -hmm. you, can, you can send out three rockets at the, that, that, those giant tanks coming your way in like a, in like a second and a half. Mm -hmm. There's uh, like some various kind of vehicles you can use. Like there's an uh, HAV, heavily armored vehicle like, that you can bring down. And you know, like one person drives and then two people man the machine gun on either side of the tank. And then there's a giant <laughs> anti-tank turret on top. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to waste the anti-tank turret on the grunts. You save that for the big guys. You got to worry about your teammates. You got to let them, your teammates, worry about the little guys when you carry this specific thread while the other guy navigates. It's this whole vehicle designed around everyone working together for a single goal. I think it's, it's very clear that a lot of thought went into people cooperating mm -hmm. in a co-op game. <laughs> it's crazy, I know. <laughs> what, this wonderful thing happens where even if no one's talking to each other, you just start following the person who runs the first towards an objective. And you know, everyone kind of silently picks an angle to cover. Like, oh, I'll get yeah. our back. Okay, you get it, okay. And it's, it's this flock herd mentality that works so well because you're all sharing a screen. Yeah. Well, yeah, knowing where to shoot's important because the way, the way this game works mm. is like there, there are enemies, a whole bunch of enemies in the game, but you got to worry about the little tiny scouts because you don't have problems until the scouts call in the bigger units. Mm -hmm. So everybody's got to be focused on looking on where those scouts are going to come. And if you're... If you're smart, somebody's gonna be looking at the top left-hand side of the screen, the other person's gonna be looking at the top right, then someone else is gonna be watching the rear, mm -hmm. and the fourth person might be checking the radar every now and then. Just to, And if he's really smart, he'll use the mic to say, yeah, I, I see some scouts up on the, the top left. They're, they're north, they're coming down. You might wanna be prepared for those scouts. Yeah. And then, you know, you shoot, you can hit them off screen. You don't need to see them, just shoot at them. <laughs> so you, you can be really coordinated and get to this game really easily. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the downside of co-op. Most people playing the game are fucking idiots. Like, or, real fucking idiots. How about inexperienced? Idiots. <laughs> 
I was I was in, I, uh, I was I was playing uh, one match and a lot of cyborgs. So there's a lot of tanks around, a lot of a lot of heavy armored units that you need to use anti-tank weaponry on, like the rocket launchers. I had the rocket launcher in the backpack. Mm. One of my uh, teammates, an experienced player, mm. rocket launcher backpack. I told him 38 times we can reload each other with the back, and it's much faster. It's much faster. He would never do it. He would never listen to me. He would always run off the corner. He'd try and reload. And I'm like, I can do that for you. It'll take half a second. <laughs> Lots of people just, they're, they're not keeping an eye out for scouts at all. Instead yeah. of, instead of like, when I'm pointing my gun at the right hand, instead of pointing his gun at the left, waiting for things to happen, he's like also pointing this way. And then when the scouts come behind us, we're, we're fucked because someone else is an idiot. <laughs> mash, mash, all right, I mashed good enough. Great, make us come back now. Oh, is everyone else dead? Yes, everyone else is dead. Oh no. Get, oh no. Get us back, right? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, all right, hold on. Run away. <laughs> run away. I'm in the or snow, shoot, I can't run. Shoot that thing. Okay. Dude, all right. That out of here? Oh shit, oh shit. God damn it! Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> this is my first, my first night with the game. I no, think no, it's fair, no, it's fair. That I can no. utterly fuck That's off, great. get everybody killed, <laughs> and then fail to revive everyone. I think I'm allowed to do that on my first day with the game. <laughs> Specifically, this kill, whole killing the scouts thing starts talking about some of the criticisms of the game. Yeah. Which is you hit a point in which the difficulty level, or the, the you hit a point in which the difficulty curve really plateaus. And it's right around when you figure out you can kill the scouts and no reinforcements come. It turns into, like, I don't want to call it a grind. It, it turns into an office job. You go to thing A kill all the scouts, do the thing A thing, kill all the scouts, go to thing B, do the thing B thing, kill all the scouts, go to the extraction points, kill all the scouts, extract. Next planet. There's something to be said though, there's something, don't you think there's anything satisfying about a mission that goes off without a hitch? Yes. Uh, my, the, the best time I ever had with this game, I just ended up in a game, complete random stranger, never met him before, mm. he, he knew how to play the game, I knew how to play the game. We both had like the sprinting perk and we both knew to look out for scouts and we, we fucking tore through the, the hell diver difficulty in like minutes, mm -hmm. just minutes, the objective. We knew what we needed to do. We didn't even need to communicate with each other. We, we were just on point. <laughs> and it was extremely satisfying. Mm -hmm. But how many times would that be satisfying? A limited number. A limited number. A limited number. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, Rich. You've, you've yeah, killed, I you've know. Killed us all. I, you've I know. Killed us all, Rich. I want to say that was our best run yet, though. What? So what happened? What happened, Rich? What happened was I hit down when I should have hit up. <laughs> all right. All right. Is that okay? Oh. No, apparently not. No, it's not. You I had a chance. All. I had a chance to save everybody. Uh, another problem I'm coming across with the game is environmental differences. So so there are three alien factions that you're fighting against. Mm -hmm. There's there's the the bugs mm -hmm. who are basically just starship troopers the game. There's also cyborg men mm -hmm. who come at you with tanks and guns. Mm -hmm. And then you have the the illuminates who are kind of supposed to be the the, the technology aliens. I'm they have call them the war of the worlds. They look like the war of the world pods. The, they're the tripods, but they're they, little tiny tripods. Yeah, they look like Domes with the legs, you know. <laughs> but they, they come at you with, with shielded units yeah. and, and snipers, yeah. basically. Laser, Laser snipers. weapons, yeah. The, the issue I'm having is, even though you have these different alien beings, these different factions, it's really weird that they all seem to live on very similar planets. You get your snow world, you got your swamp world, and you got your sand world. Mm -hmm. and they all look exactly the same no matter what alien you're fighting. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the environments are, they're, they're all very similar. There's, there's only basically cosmetic differences like the lava planet, few lava traps maybe, or, or the forest planet, there's some like swamps that's harder to get through, yeah. but mostly it's just different colors. It gets tiresome. The game could use some more urban environments mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, probably some some new objectives. Yep. Yep. And uh, an end game would be nice. 
I think I think the major fault of this game, which otherwise otherwise I love this game, mm. absolutely love it, except not very long lived. No, no. I I loved it intensely. <laughs> yes. When I first started playing it, I, I loved unlocking all the shit. Mm -hmm. And then I, I I kind of I unlocked all the shit and oh, oh I'm done. I'm kind of done. That's why I call the the difficulty curve a plateau, where you you hit that point where. You're just running through the same missions in the same environments, fighting the same enemies over and over. And while short-lived, I think I got a solid 20 hours out of the game. Yeah. And for 20 bucks, I think that's really worth it. But I can't imagine playing it anymore. See, I'm I'm the single player gamer. Yeah. I don't I don't do much in the way of multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking, if this, if this were like a single player game, there'd, there'd be some kind of storyline resolution where I'd go, ah, that was nice. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be some kind of like, like climax or the story would end, there'd be an end point, oh, and I go, oh. But with Helldivers, there's never any sense of closure. Mm -hmm. at, I, I was just playing and at some point I just realized, oh, I'm done with this now. <laughs> It is a big criticism, and it's a big negative to the game, that you can't play it more than 20, 40, maybe, I mean, 30 hours, maybe? How long are you into it? Probably about 40, even. Okay, 40. I get, I, get a good, I get a good chunk of use out of this game. Yeah. But I, I, I think I'm gonna be done very soon, and I'm, I don't know that I'm gonna look back very often. It's like, it's, it's a harsh criticism. But I think it's priced appropriately. If you get the $20 version without all the DLC that you don't need, <laughs> more than worth the purchase, in my opinion. I also recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Don't expect more than... Don't expect more than 40 hours. Yeah, no, definitely not more than 40. I, I couldn't get past 20. I'm, I'm, I'm like at 40 now, but I'm just, I'm just, you know what, I'm just, I just kind of wanted, for the sake of it, to get to level 25. I'm the character. I'll get to level 25 and then I'm done. <laughs> So you're, you're, right now you're in a loveless marriage. Right now. <laughs> That's basically what's yes. happening. Yes, yes. The, ki the kids are almost off to college. The kids are almost 18. And once those kids move out, you're fucking out of here. We're going to have a clean break. We're going to have a clean break. We're going to see other people. <laughs> okay, well, that, you know what? As long as you remain friends. Yeah, yeah you're still speaking oh, I highly will, of them. I will remain friends yeah, with Helldivers. I may, even, I may even see Helldivers every now and then for a little something something on the side. You okay. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> This <laughs> metaphor got weird. <laughs> <laughs>